Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life and I just finished my design team project for Odosuna Scrap. Uh, it's for Anne and I just absolutely love, love, love her papers. If you're into shabby chic, just check out, you know, check out her Etsy shop. Of course, the link to the kit that I used, which is the vintage wallpaper kit. And there's also a vintage wallpaper letter kit that goes with it, which is in here as well. Uh, the link uh, to that is below this video. So do check it out and the other things in her shop. Um, now, let me show you this image is uh, of Lily. Uh, she's quite well known model that she was. And uh, that is in the kit. Also the paper with the beautiful roses. Now the cover I made out of a white paper bag. And on the cover I've sewn on the paper from uh, Olusina Scrap. And actually I really tried first time ever. And if you're watching, the papers are from Anne, all the scene scrap. This is kind of her kind of layout. And I just, she has tutorials on her channel. And I just loved it. This is my first try. I'm making a kind of look like Anne layout for the cover. And I really, really love it. So there's some corrugated paper, some book pages. Um, I had this uh, beautiful lace that I got this last week. Also sold it in my Etsy shop, but it's all gone now. Um, some swirls here, some pearls I put on here. Hope you can see that. Little pearls like in a bow is a pearl. This is a crochet flower. Not crocheted by me, just had it in my stash. Can't crochet, or at least not yet. Some uh, embossed paper and some trim all around it. And I went over it with um, a vintage photo ink. And this is the first page so there's this little pocket from Anne's paper now you can see probably why I love this <coughs> excuse me and this is all in the kit this paper also this little envelope and I've got just a, a piece of scrap from her paper it's printed on the back as well beautiful paper you'll see that uh, paper on the back later on in this journal and this is just a piece of the embossed paper that I put in there. Just a bit of extra. And I added a little bow. Now here I added some old uh, music paper from, I think it was from a, a booklet from 1914. This again, the image from the kit and this. And I added a real old postcard. And this is actually, oh, hit my lamp. This is from 1931. Well, you can't see the one anymore, but it says 931. The 19th of November, 11, 1931. And this is Nederland, which is the Netherlands. Here it says Amsterdam Central Station. So that's where it was posted. Amsterdam, it says. So that is a genuinely old postcard. Not a copy, it's the original. <coughs> oh, and by the way, this journal is for sale uh, in my Etsy shop. So do check that out, link below this video as well. So some seam binding on the rose gold paper clip. This is some old vintage paper. It's, um, it's kind of brown on the edges, but that's all original. This is some trim again that I got recently, some vintage trim. Now I did combine this with uh, some of my own kits that I have in my Etsy shop. So um, this, I, I just got these postcards recently. I made the kit today and I just thought it went absolutely well. Just, you know, like together with Lily. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I just had to use it. I, I'm sorry. I just could not use it with this gorgeous, gorgeous kit from Anne. They just go so well together. And this again is a piece from my own kit. Some old handwriting. Now, this is just a photocopy and I just aged the paper. I scrunched it up and uh, went around it with some um, uh, vintage ink and made some tears so that it looks really old as if this is the letter written by this lady. And again with a little bit of seam mining on the paper clip. Now this is the gorgeous paper with uh, from Anne's kit from Olusina Scrap. 
beautiful it has this gorgeous lace that she's used her just her papers are such high quality when you print them out this again is from her kit this as well some embossed paper here <coughs> this is my own um uh, avocado dyed paper and i put in a original um 19 i think it was about 1900s um maybe a little bit before maybe 1980 no um yeah 1980s um carte de visite it's called cdv carte de visite it's what people in the end of the 19th century it started about around about 1970 uh, 90, 90, 50, 60, 70, thereabouts, they used to give, make photos and have these cards um, uh, printed out multiple times or made multiple times and give it to friends and family. So it's, you know, it's not like a business card. It was really, this is just the photographer. It was really given to friends and family. This is from Ant's Kit. And this again is from one of my own kits with old handwriting. But here on the back I printed off Anne's beautiful paper again. Now a real vintage doily. This is from Anne's kit and this is on my own coffee dyed paper. Again from Anne's kit and this as well, the ephemera. And I added some handmade um, rose paper. So these are rose petals that are on this paper. Sorry if I wasn't in focus. I hope I am. I hope I am now. <laughs> Just if I wasn't, this is what you missed. If I wasn't in focus, sorry about that. My phone doesn't automatically focus well, so I just have to keep tapping the screen and sometimes I forget. So this is from Anne's gorgeous, gorgeous kit. This is some mushroom dyed paper that I did myself. And this is coffee dyed Bry paper that I added a piece of. So if you know Bry, you can read this. <laughs> I don't. Now again, the beautiful vintage wallpaper kit from Anne. This as well. Lots of uh, space to write. Now this is again from my own kit with lots of photos and my vintage lace. And I added a very pretty uh, wax seal stamp. Hope you can see that. There's some, it's, it's really free, uh, 3D. And um, of course, wax seal stamps are 3D wax seals. But this is even more lifted. And I went over it with some gold, like rose gold wax to make these tiny little butterflies stand out. I hope the camera picks that up. And this is again from Anne's kit. Just made a tuck spot here and on some old book paper. This is Dutch book paper. I'm from the Netherlands, so that's Dutch. This is again Anne's kit and this as well. Again, some of my vintage lace that I got this week. This is from my own kit, but I just thought this went so well. And I printed on the back as well and just see, you, you see why this goes so well together? Because of this shape. <laughs> It's like the back, the original is embossed and this is the embossing on the back and it just is exactly that same beautiful oval shape that Anne has on her wallpaper kit. That is just so gorgeous. Now here again, this is all from Anne's kit and I scrunched it up again to make it look old and a little pocket as well. This is some book paper, pretty image there. And also here in the middle. And I had put some uh, very pretty seam binding next to it. And I, here are some pretty glass beads. You can hear it. That's real glass, some glass beads on there. And we go back to the middle. This is the other side of that pretty book page. And this again is some vintage paper and another original 
um, 1870s, 1890s CDV, Carte de Visite. And this is French, 9 Rue de Cadet. So this is Baron Belcourt, Elios. Elios, that's Greece. Okay. Helios. Well, it could be from Greece. <laughs> Beautiful lady. Very pretty. So that's an original one, not a photocopy. And this is an original old envelope. And I really like the combination as if she wrote this letter. Now, this is just the uh, envelope that is original. 12th of Jan, double O. Is that 1900? Oh, it could be from 1900. I recently got a box full of these, which is great. But I didn't have the original letter, just the envelope. So I put in some of Anne's gorgeous, gorgeous wallpaper. Now, these are um, a bright. These are also in the kit from Anne. Absolutely love these papers. Don't know where she got it from. And how she made it, but they're absolutely stunning. Again, some seam binding on the edges and this paper. This is from my own kit. Just a little card. And this is from a the, the envelope that actually goes with the um, the handmade rose paper that i just showed you so this is the envelope but i just separated them and this is from uh Anne's kit again beautiful lily and this little piece of paper put some trim on there and i put another photo card uh, this is again from my own kit but this is from Anne's kit very pretty now that goes in there This again is ends paper and you get some of these circles also so that's uh, fussy cut and stuck on. This again ends paper and this as well. Beautiful tall envelope and I just added a little bow to that. Now in this is again some of ends paper, a check and she added these beautiful uh, roses on there as well. Really very pretty. So, and that goes on the top. I'll put that on later. Again, beautiful wallpaper from Enski, the Bry. This is my uh, mushroom night paper again. And I put a pink doily here with a gorgeous wax seal stamp in a very, very kind of creamy pink. And I went over that with some gold wax to kind of highlight it. Now this ends from Anne's kit again. And this envelope as well. And this check. Now this lady is again from my own kit. So in Anne's kit there is um, the image from Lily in different sizes. And the other ladies I added myself. Some laces behind it. And this is again some writing paper from Anne's kit. Really pretty. And she has some paper to print on the back as well. Several different kinds actually. So that is really nice. So that goes in there. Some vintage trim on my own coffee dyed paper. The vintage doily. Oh, I think I even put two in here. Huh. You get two for the price of one. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. And um, this is again from Anne's kit. Very pretty. Love that. This is from my own kit. This is the avocado dyed paper. This is really from Anne. Just gorgeous, absolutely love this as well. And a little bit of that embossed paper. The vintage paper and the vintage trim. The music paper. And here, this lady is again from my own kit. But this is from Anne's kit. 
made a little pocket here and she just peeks out this is lily again from ends kit and this as well but this image is again from my own kit and this is some more of Anne's beautiful writing paper that's in her kit there you go and that was the last page and then the back is just plain here you can see the the paperback i went over it with some vintage ink and there you have it now it can stand upright so if you want this you can display it upright like so it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely love it well thanks and for the for you know the layout i really like it i think i'll make more of these uh, layouts so do check ends uh gorgeous papers this kit the vintage wallpaper kit and the vintage wallpaper letter kit that i use in here and uh, all the other beautiful papers that are in her etsy shop and thanks for watching have a great day bye bye